Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this mini Unity tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create an absolute mirror effect on any object in Unity. Don't forget, click the subscribe button and click the bell icon as well to stay up to date with everything I have on game development on my channel. With that in mind, let's get to work. So the concept of having an actual mirror is actually kind of easy and a lot of people do use the technique that we use but they just don't make that final step to make it an actual mirror rather than just a render. So if we go to game object 3d object cube and we're going to use this cube as the actual mirror for this particular part. So what we need to do is we need to actually make this let's say relative to the screen so let's say scale wise it's going to be uh, five by I don't know, ten maybe. Next we need to add a camera. So it's that camera that creates the render. So right click and go to camera and you just need to have that camera facing outwards. So in this case mine would be minus 90 because it is facing outwards towards our character. And we can see already down here that this is what the mirror theoretically should be representing. So we need to now create a render texture. So right click create and down here you'll see render texture. You can call this anything at all. Now what we need to do is set the size. Now the size I think is always quite important because the lower it is, the lower quality it's going to be, the higher it is, the more resource it could possibly take depending on what you're trying to do. So for example, if we just went to 1024 by 1024, it makes things a bit easier for us. It's higher quality, but it's not uh, going to strain too much. Uh, you can keep the camera coupled to that cube if you want or uncouple it. I guess it's up to you. It doesn't really matter too much. Uh, so drag and drop that mirror texture onto the camera target texture right there. And then drag and drop it onto the cube. And already we can see that we have something in our scene. Now to the eagle eyed viewers of you, if I press play, you'll notice that yes, it is not a mirror. It is just a render. So you have to think about this logically. We need to inverse how this looks, otherwise it's not quite going to work as intended. So, in order to do so, we have to be a little bit clever with our cube. And I guess probably worth uncoupling the camera for now, and then inverting that cube. So, on the Z or X, depending on which way, which rotation you have, for me it is the Z. For you it could be the X, but you just need to inverse the scale and you will then have a mirror. It's kind of cool. So I am going to increase that just a little bit. So it goes up, let's bring that up. Maybe uh, bring it backwards a bit. So if I select the cube and camera, bring it, whoops, not to the side, <laughs> bring it back to probably about there. And now if I select my character up here, press play, we'll be able to see in the mirror it is indeed reflecting. Once Unity kicks in, there we go. So if we move our character to the left, it will indeed move to the left on the mirror. Whereas if we moved it to the right in the mirror, it will move to the right. However, if we hadn't inversed it, it would move the opposite way. So let's just try this out. Let's move our character slowly to the right, and you can see it does move to the right in the mirror and left. Perfect. And if we were to move uh, our character outwards, you can see it moves away in the mirror. Perfect. So guys, that is how you can easily create a mirror effect and not necessarily just for a mirror, but for any kind of cool effect in Unity. Guys, thank you very much for watching. 